disclaimer my eye is fine sort of I mean it's sort of fine it's chill I know it's probably a bit irritating to look at but I'm not in pain it's not bothering me so just cool it I I'm going to be making a video on how to properly, from start to finish, wear a wig. I am not a wig expert. I'm not someone who specializes in wigs. I can't say that I am a professional. However, I can say this much. I got kind of an idea and maybe you guys don't. So I'm going to be showing you my take on wigging it. So today we're going to be working with another real human hair wig this is by perfect lace wigs it is i've never tried this brand before but i have opened the wig and i am in love you'll see why so this here is a 20 inch real human hair wig i am already in love with it i haven't put it on i haven't customized it in any way i'm already in love this is a lace front wig simply because it's got the lace here at the top and it comes with it quite a bit longer than is necessary but this is just so you could customize it how you want later and typically all um wig brands are, are going to send you a wig cap so that's what you get in the box two key steps in wearing a wig is one prep your own hair to prep the wig we're gonna start with our hair there are many different ways that you could prep your own hair you can either go the, go the full way and cornrow fringe braid everything back you could do a lot of simpler smaller braids that is very very good to kind of get all the hair out of the way and then simply pin it at the back however sometimes i feel that i could still feel and see the bump of the braid through the wig so i try to avoid that and instead i'm going to be showing you my way of usually prepping my hair for a wig But now the key point is to pin it down as flat as possible and this is kind of what I do to hide my hair as best as possible. That is as much prep work as your hair needs the next step would be to put on the wig cap before i'm gonna do that i'm gonna actually get into styling the wing applied onto the doll it is already looking pretty snazzy but it's gonna need some alteration if you know what i mean the good thing about having a lace front which is this thing is that the wig can be parted basically anywhere because the hairs are individually knotted onto the lace and not in wefts, the back of it is all wefts. The thing is that often the hair is still pretty thick, so now we're going to be customizing our parting. Some tweezers is all you're going to need. And then with the tweezers, I'm simply going to be pulling out some hair from the parting just so I make the parting a bit more realistic next there are also these baby hairs it's up to you how much you would like i'm going to remove just a bit more than it has but it's up to you again finally i'm going to trim the lace front this is best to be done on yourself by someone else but i have no one here so i'm going to do it on the doll itself So now it's time for the actual wig application. The head condom is on. <laughs> now it's time for the wig. So I actually went ahead and I changed my wig cap from a skin color to a black simply because the skin color one was showing through too much. But now it's time for the actual 
wig laying process. It is time to glue things down. A lot of people think that wigs you just put them on, throw them on and you're good to go. And some of them are well enough made to do that. But they're not durable. Nah. -uh. Uh, this is a very, very strong gel uh, by Schwarzkopf. Got to be styling gel or got to be wig glue. This thing ensures that your wig is stuck to your head. Don't worry, it's water soluble, it comes off. Today I'm going to show you how to use it. Taking my hair dryer, this is my Irresistible Me Onyx hair dryer, I'm going to put it on the cool setting and I'm gonna dry the glue until it's tacky, until if you touch it, it kind of feels really sticky. Now it's time to actually place the wig onto the stickiness. So now that I went over it with the cool side of the hair dryer, the glue has dried considerably, but it's not yet done, and any movement could cause it to kind of lift up. So, this is my Levi's bandana that I'm going to be wearing to help my wig set. Alright, so my makeup is done. I actually redid the bandana so that it's mainly lying over here. By now, the glue should have completely dried. Fingers crossed it did. And when the glue sets, I'm telling you, it's quite impossible for the wig to move. Now we're going to actually need to style the wig as you would with a normal hairdo. And then I'll, 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 I'll be right back. I'm just gonna straighten my wig. It's time to figure out the parting. If your wig, you want to wear your wig without a parting, you can completely skip and avoid this step. But I kind of want it here on the side and currently it looks kind of not there. Really skinny concealer brush, kind of a thicker concealer or concealer pot. And I'm simply going to define my parting. So here it is. This is my take on how to wear and rock a wig. Some stylists will do things completely different than how I did them, but this is just something that works for me, you know. This is really, really, really soft. It responds very well to heat styling, so I'm absolutely digging it. It is a bit on the thinner side, so if you want a bit more volume, you could go for a thicker type wig but it is absolutely a dream come true when it comes to wigs the glue has completely dried so i'm in love with that because it's not gonna move anywhere <laughs> wigs i think offer a very very easy drastic change i absolutely love wigs because i get to you know have a completely different outlook and i absolutely love that i also love the fact that sometimes i can have long hair short hair curly or I'm going to leave the wig detail down in the description box below. This wig was an absolute dream come true to work with. It already came pretty plugged beforehand and it had a lot of baby hairs. So customizing it was very, very easy. So I hope you will give this a go. I hope I mentioned everything that you guys may have wanted to know or needed to know about um, wigs. I think that they are so, so fun to play with. So I definitely encourage you to do the same. Cool, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it could have been helpful. I hope you'll try it out and I will see you in my next video.